Hello guys and welcome to today's airsofting video. I um, apologize for the um, mild hiatus as far as um, posting videos. It's been just kind of a crazier uh, moment in my life with a lot of things going on. You know, usual adult life, that kind of thing. So anyway, I'm back to continuing um, reviews um, from my care package I got um, a little bit ago. And continuing with the review, I have the WeTech M16. A3 model. Now, for this particular model, it is going to be the open bolt system by WeTech. So, definition of open bolt meaning it's a full traveling bolt. So, um, we're going to go ahead and do just an in depth review of this beast right here, and you'll get a chance to see the ins and outs of this particular airsoft rifle. So, I hope you guys enjoy this review. All right, so a few things I wanted to flag um, before we get into the more in-depth review. Um, I just wanted to talk about overall exterior build for the WeTech M16 GBBR. So one thing you're going to notice is it is quite a larger GBBR. Um, actually, for reference, here is my uh, WeTech M4 um, placed side by side next to each other. So you can see there's quite the difference as far as barrel length and of course the stock as well. So it kind of puts things into perspective if you're maybe looking to um, add to your arsenal as far as US rifles go. So um, if you have an M4 for reference that'll kind of give you an idea. So a couple of things also is most of the construction is going to be metal. Um, as typical for WeTech and GBB um, rifles slash airsoft pistols. However, there are going to be some plastic components, which is going to be the actual stock itself, the handguard, and obviously the hand grip is going to be plastic. Um, noting some things that are going to be metal, you're going to have obviously the charging handle, the dust cover, magazine, most of the body itself, carrying handle, the sights, the outer barrel and the flash hider which I upgraded from the orange tipped flash hider so overall construction wise you're gonna expect definitely more metal than plastic which is always a nice touch so a couple things um, for this particular stock it is gonna be fixed so non adjustable is what that's meaning um, the nice feature with the M16 is there is a little cover to where you can actually put things inside the stock as some kind of carrying um, pouch I would say so you can put I don't know what you would even put in here uh, maybe some tools for cleaning maybe some spare BBs I don't know that's gonna be based on your leisure uh, basically there's a little pin here in order to get that opened up now taking a closer look at the actual body we're gonna have the semi or I'm sorry the safe semi and full auto switch on the right side of the actual rifle this is not an ambidextrous rifle so this is basically mirroring the exact replica of the real m16 a3 um, the magazine again the release for it is on the other side so you can see as I press it this part pops out then you're able to take the magazine out um, flipping it over to the other side here is where we're going to get the actual action piece of it so we have the dust cover and then we have the charging handle up top so right now I have the bolt engaged so um, the release for it is going to be on the other side right here so once I press it on the other side it's going to basically put the bolt back into the original position and then open up the dust cover same thing too when you pull the charging handle it's going to open up the dust cover again and lock the bolt since I have the magazine in the position to um, lock the bolt back when it's out of ammo so this is basically what you're going to be looking at as far as the reset position taking a quick look at the magazine so as you saw the um, system I have in place right now for this magazine is basically to lock the bolt once the BBs are out so there is going to be a little switch here that you could toggle back and forth um, right now I have it so basically the way I switched it now is it will dry fire even when the magazine is empty you push it forward that is going to keep the bolt from um, going again so basically locking the bolt once this magazine is out this is a typical m4 slash m16 magazine so m4 mags are compatible with the m16 and vice versa um, you're looking at a 32 round magazine um, okay with either green gas or propane depending on your preference um, and as far as fps you're going to be looking at around 410 to 480 FPS and that's with the regular 0.20 gram BBs. Um, 
overall, it's got a pretty decent capacity, about 32 rounds. Um, obviously, with a GBB, it's not going to be like a high cap when you're comparing an AEG for that matter. But overall, you're probably going to want to get a few of these if you're looking to rock the M16 as far as your loadout goes. Now there's really no other logos or markings besides the stamping of 5.56 NATO on this particular um, outer barrel. Um, the flash hider I had to buy it separately because typically with US customers and airsoft guns in the US they're going to come with a blaze orange tip so um, I ended up changing that out um, to make it more realistic I would say. And here's kind of another view of those um, iron sights as you can see you can even adjust them there based on windage and that sort of thing. Obviously for air soft it's a little different um, and then obviously if we're looking at the um, top sights here these are going to be flippable so you can basically flip these uh, really depending on the distance so um, it's more of that personal trait the other thing too with this handguard um, it is removable by taking out these two um, bolts once you unscrew them the handguard comes off and you're basically free to mount any type of optic that you would like the other thing too with the M16 model is you are actually able to put the M203 adjust uh, attachment on this as well or if you want to get creative and create something custom you can even do a master key attachment which is basically a um, shotgun underneath the barrel so um, a lot of opportunities as far as the M16 goes if you are looking to make some customizable changes to it all right, so my overall takeaways on this particular M16 rifle by WeTech, I would say it's very well done. Um, as far as price points go, if there's no promotion or discount coupon, you're typically going to see these in the U.S. for about $330 or so, at least advertised on eBike's website. Um, obviously, with eBike, where I purchased this from, they do offer promotions from time to time, and typically WeTech models are always subject to some pretty crazy discounts. So that's where you can really jump on an opportunity to pick one of these up. Um, I would say I'm a huge fan of the open bolt system because it just adds the most realism as far as airsoft goes. Because with open bolt, again, you're getting that full travel and you just have to understand that when this thing is on full auto, it really kicks. Even on semi-auto, it's really just satisfying. I mean, I can just kind of fire off a few in semi just so you can kind of get a chance to see it and hear it. So again, overall very satisfying. Um, I'm going to be doing a separate shooting demonstration of this particular gun. So typically I'll do the verbal review first and then I'll do the shooting demonstration with Chrono as a separate video. Um, but overall I would say this gun is just outstanding. It's got a very, very serious power as far as FPS goes with 0.2 gram BBs. I would even recommend a heavier BB for this because this thing is going to be shooting pretty hot given the barrel length and the fact that it's obviously green gas powered. Um, there is actually a CO2 magazine also available for this model. So again, there's a lot of different personalization options that you can really put on this particular gun, um, as goes for really any M4 type of variant, um, like M16, M4, and um, anything else really that has kind of like the top rail here and then you know you can switch this out for a more tactical rail to put more attachments really a personal preference type of thing but anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um, again this kind of gives you some kind of quick and in-depth detail of this particular rifle um, let me know if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below and i'll be more than happy to get your questions answered for you but again Thanks so much for watching this video. Please comment, please like, please subscribe if you do enjoy content like this. And if you're a new viewer, please take a look at my channel. I have tons of other airsoft content just like this as far as reviews and shooting demos go and much more. Thanks again, guys.